Hey guys, this is a video in my TI-84 Plus CE graphing calculator tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to discuss why your TI-84 Plus CE may show error window range. Without further ado, let's get to it. First, let's exit this error message by pressing enter. If I press Y equals, I can see that my Y1 is equal to X squared and my Y2 is equal to 2. If I press graph, however, I get an error uh, noting that something is wrong with the window. So we're going to exit this error message by pressing enter and actually go to the window to see what's wrong. And right away I can see that some things are off. My X min value is 10 and my X max value is 5. 10 is not less than 5, so my min value is actually greater than my max value. So I have to change that. I'm going to make my x min negative 10, and I'm just going to make my x max 10. You can adjust it to your liking. So x min, I'm going to make that negative 10. And now I'm going to arrow down, and I'm going to make my x max 10. And I see another problem. My y max and y min values are exactly the same. If I try to graph with this, I'll still get an error message. So let's exit the message one more time. And if we go to window, we need to make the min and max values uh, different. And the min value has to be less than the max value. So I'm going to make the y min negative 10 once again. I'm going to arrow down and I'm going to make the Y max positive 10. And now graph and I get the graphs of X squared and Y equals 2. While we are talking about the graphing window, let's discuss other components for the graphing window settings. The X scale and Y scale values signify the space between markings on the X and Y axis respectively. Now since the X and Y scales are both 1, the, the markings go up by 1. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. If I change the marking, if I change the scales to 2, I'm going to also change the Y scale to 2, press enter, and now if I try to graph, my scales are now going up by 2, so 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Next we have the X res option, which determines the resolution of the graph. Now x res equals to 1. If I change it to 8, which is as high as you can set, it, uh, set the x res value to, so I'm going to set it to 8. Notice what happens to the graph. It's much more jagged if you can't tell. It's, it's, uh, it's not as smooth as, as it was before. The calculator is evaluating and graphing the function at every 8th pixel. You probably want to leave that at 1. Next we have the delta x uh, uh, option. The delta x allows you to instruct the calculator on the distance between pixels. The default formula that the calculator uses is x max minus x min divided by 94. Also, you probably want to leave that to default. Finally, is the trace step, which determines how far the cursor moves to the, far, uh, to the right or left when you use the trace step to trace values on the graph. I hope this video helps in some way. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. I'll try my best to help. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Check out other videos on my channel especially the graphing and scientific calculator tutorial series. 
until next time, take care guys.